Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Empyrean Galactic Survival. So today we're going to play Reforged Eden, which is two mods smushed together to make the ultimate mod. Lots of content, lots of features, and it does increase the difficulty of the game, which sounds a lot of fun. So uh, let's go ahead and play. So if you want to join our server, it's Stone Legion space Reforged space Eden. And um, just to let you know, you have to turn on the EAC, I think it's called. You can go to your options and then MIS MISC, and then there should be an option to turn it on. For some reason, that's like that's the security, like the game anti-cheat stuff. But for some reason, it's disabled by default, so you got to go enable it. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect. When you first connect, uh, I connected and disconnected quickly, uh, so it's a little faster. But when you first connect, it will download the scenario. It's about 100 megabytes or so. But after that, it should remember after that. So uh, here you go. So you can choose a lot of planets here. Don't look at the difficulty information here. Look at it here. But if we skip through here, you can basically see all the different information on it, which is pretty cool, to be fair. Kind of swaps through a whole bunch of different places here. And it gets to the ultra dark rogue. It's basically like pitch black all the time. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, but we're going to go with the easy way because I feel like we can we can find our own difficulty by going to those planets later on rather than, you know, start on hell. Let's just have a nice easy start and then go visit hell and not be prepared at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. Oh, that's a really cool ship. And we're going to we're going to use blueprints and things like that. I'm not the most fancier builder. We'll, we'll build our base with actual blocks and stuff, but uh, um, the you know, base building all we'll do that. Uh, my friend Togi will play with us eventually as well. But I think when it comes to, you know, uh, designs of ships and hover vehicles, people have put like thousands of hours into it. They have all the skills. There's a lot of balance, especially with this pack. Uh, if you go to workshop and sort for like the last six months, like probably more than half of the builds that you see there, like especially the popular ones, are all like compatible with this because they change a lot of things, even the CPU stats, the weights. They basically touch everything. Um, so we're going to ignore the prologue journey. We're going to ignore you completely. We don't want to do you. We're going to go ahead and grab some of this. Awesome. And where do we want to go? We can go anywhere we want. You can go this way. Let's go. Let's go this way. We'll we'll just have fun. So what we're gonna do, and I'm I'm gonna do some cuts basically. Is first let's let's make our scanner. Now this tool has a scanner. You can do this to detect stuff near you, but I find it easier just to have a second tool for that. What we're literally gonna do for the first bit is do this. We're just gonna go around, collect plants, and have resource mode, and basically go. Here's my pod just rolling away. Hello, Stone Legion. Welcome to the server. I guess it's good it doesn't say hi, I, you know, hello Stone Legion, welcome to Stone Legion server. <laughs> yeah, my name is my the same as my Let's Play series, but like we're also a community, but I did that for a while because, you know, people were kind of harassing me a bit and I just thought oh, I'll just get rid of that. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and grab this. So yeah, we're just going to head over to one direction here. Uh, now, if you follow the scrap, more likely if there's scrap nearby, if you were to follow it, you could probably get yourself, um, there's uh, usually a trash uh, hover vehicle and a small vehicle, and you can usually get yourself um, those up and running pretty fast and then already selling out of here. I actually am going to leave those behind. I feel like those are a little too cheap anyways, and I'd rather kind of get the resources and farm them myself. It takes a little longer, but I think it's a little bit more enjoyable, so... It gives us time to talk and get organized and figure out what we're going to do here anyway. So let's go to tab here. Um, you can see your inventory. So we got iron ore. So let's go to F3. And we're going to go to misc here. And we're going to go portable constructor. And we're going to craft one of these for the future. There you go. And let's get our detector out of here. There you go. This detector might have a little bit more range. Probably not, but you never know. Now, I think if you jump around, not a big deal. Just don't uh, sprint around because you will go through your food so fast that you'll be really, 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 really sorry. So we're going to leave that wreckage alone. But yeah, we're going to head over here. More wreckage. Just wreckage everywhere. We'll, we'll eventually explore wreckage, but some of the, the spawn wreckage, like near spawn here, a lot of it tends to be just freebie stuff to help you. Like there's a hover bike in one of them and... Uh, some other equipment and gear, some freebie stuff. And then another one has, uh, like I said, there's two of them with uh, one is a hover bike and one's a small like vessel. And you just have to do little repairs. I think the small vessel you can fly actually without any repairs. Um, it's missing a thruster, maybe a bit more. 
And the hover vehicle is missing a generator and I believe a fuel tank. But uh, yeah, for us, what we're doing is we're just going to gather the materials. And in this one, uh, they I feel like there's a lot more stone than like the ores around anyways, like these little ones. And I think if I re remember, I read that they've upped the numbers a bit anyways, which means it's kind of beneficial just running around doing this anyways. And it's not very expensive to actually get your first ship. I'm going to show you here. So there's a blueprint system we're going to use in here. So if you hit F2... And you go to, you can sort these out. So let's go ahead and do hover vehicles here. And there's some from the workshop that I've gotten for the future. So this is a scarab. It's pretty badass, but it's a little bit more later. But here's a tier one, level one uh, vehicle here. So it only requires level one, basically right out of the door. And uh, look at how little. So 66, 60, 60 of those base materials. And they double. So let's just say if you have 60 iron, as far as I remember, that's 120 iron <laughs> that uh, ingots you have. So that's actually even better than you might uh, think so. I think that we'll start with that and then we'll work our way up. I could farm around a little bit more, but that would just take extra effort and time and I just thought, meh. So how's our storage? 186, so we're doing really well. Okay, and we'll probably do a cut here soon. I'll just keep going for a bit and there's just keep farming here. Where are we now? Oh crap, that sucks. So we can't be farming in their territory. Uh, if we start killing creatures uh, in their territory, uh, picking plants, things like that, they will get upset with you and you'll lose rep with them. And you kind of don't want to do that. You want to actually keep friendly with them. So um, it might be a good time for me to just keep going. I was trying to go to the south here. Where are we going again? Okay, we're going to the west. Yeah. Uh, sun rises, or yeah, so the sun rises from the east, it sets in the west, I believe, here. I don't know if that's every world or just this world. Um, I'm just, I remember it being this way before here, so. I'll, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna follow that path in a sense, just for fun. So that's near their border. So there's copper. So you have all your basic materials here. So you got iron, copper, silicon, and copper. Um, so that's good news. Like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and just mine this way. But uh, that's honestly, that's like we're already there basically. If we wanted to uh, mine those down, that's just rock. Okay. Okay, let me do a bit of cut. I'm just going to keep doing this for a bit. So we'll be back here in a sec. Okay, so I got unknown territory. We're right on it. Let's see what happens if I mine this. Oh, I don't think they care about that, but just be careful. I think if you mine their ores, touch your plants. They might get upset. Let's try this for fun if we're still in it. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's their actual crops in their buildings or something. I thought you'd get in trouble for that. So maybe certain things you can do without any uh, intervention from them. I just didn't want you guys to get screwed over, honestly. It's probably like their crops and their, like, their buildings and stuff. And then actual probably like maybe like actual pro uh, resource nodes like the... Uh, you know if there's iron in the middle of their base kind of thing. But I'm liking where we're going. I'm going to go... Oh, it looks like their territory kind of keeps going here. Well, we'll see if it if it stops. If it stops and goes around, like, you know, comes down, then maybe we'll find a base across this area over here. Let's sprint a wee bit. Why not? This is how fast you can move when you jump and sprint. Pretty good, but when you sprint in this game, you use a lot of food. Basically, you, re you use a lot of food for regenerating your uh, stamina, and that's where it gets you, like, quite a lot. Vegetables, eh? We got some food we're working on anyways. I, uh, I was starting to process some here. I just went like this, so energy bars are from plant proteins, so we were getting tons of that around here, so... Oh, look at that structure. Yeah, so you know, one thing that's really cool, so... I know, remember the numbers, it's 600 meters by default to see a structure on a planet. And I believe it's 800, uh, sorry, and it's um, 1500 to see it in space, if I remember the numbers right. Um, or maybe that's like, I don't know, maybe that's like constructs and I don't know exactly the rules. Anyways, um, but the way I have it set is it's actually now, uh, I think it's 1800 to see them like you know see that away so 16 1.6 kilometers basically and 40 uh 4500 
uh, kilometers away to see uh, ones on the uh, on the ground. So I don't know when we started. I wish I saw that like so I could make a marker to it. But oh heck, we don't even see it on here. <laughs> Wouldn't be easy to make a, a reference to it. But you have to trust me. It's about that. Okay. How's our inventory doing here anyways? Oh, we're pretty full. So what we're going to do here soon then is drop our survival constructor. It might be a good time for us to uh, find a place to camp. Doesn't need to be our permanent. Oh, crap. Doesn't need to be our permanent home, but none of these are a good spot because this is in their territory. Okay, we're just going to go. Oh, we're going to south. Oh, that's why. I'm kind of. Okay, that's my fault. Yeah, we're, we're kind of unpurposely, accidentally. Let's go north then for a bit. Oh, I think I see water up there too. Yep, lots of water. Okay. We're going to go north then and hopefully find uh, something that's not their territory. Okay, that's just a wee bit there. So we're going to have to go quite a bit up. Um, Let's go this side. So look at my health now. We or sorry, my food. My food was okay-ish, but now you're gonna see it drop like crazy, especially when you get in that lower. See how the red is going really slow? I think once you're out of the red, it goes faster. Also depends on your movement too. So now I don't know if you generate it. Here's the question: If you move while it's generating, do you use so for? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, it does seem to slow when you move it. And if I go like that, is it going to... Okay, so it does seem to be based on how much uh, stamina is regenerating. I was wondering if I walk while it's still regenerating stamina, if it would still be the same speed or not, but apparently not. We can swim in this game. Just make sure you have nothing in your hand. <laughs> there you go. Probably a bad idea, but... Oh, look at that! Looks like we're finding some stuff. So I like being near water, um, mostly for the fact that it's flat land. Uh, it just means that basically you can build your structure over water, just have pillars. You know, you have to support it. There's actual structure integrity in this game. But basically, it gives you a better free range of building. You put it on the water, and then you just build out to the water. You don't have to worry about, you know, the terrain being flat. You don't have to worry about mowing down the terrain, things like that. You just build to your heart, you know, content outwards. There you go. Oh, yeah. So are we still in there? No, we're not in their territory anymore. Look at that. Oh, and the water is growing. Okay. I want to go up here then where the water really grows. Look at the beachfront here too. Nice. Okay, let's uh, let's do a cut here. I think I like this area. Look at this. There's, there's a lot of rocks here for me to get started with. All that forest there for trees and stuff. And look how flat it is. Like, I would actually think building our base here would actually be okay. Because we can build it on this height and it's just flat. Goes down a bit more. But basically, it's it's a really ultimate spot for a base, honestly. So, I think that'll work. Um, so, I've been eating my food here as it comes in. Let's take you. Um, so, our food is doing pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and dump all my materials in here. Um, there we go. So we're going to need a lot more, but it's a pretty good start here. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys going. So yeah, um, did I tell you? I forgot now. So control does t 100, shift does 10, control shift does 1000 at a time. Uh, but it'll just cancel the queue anyways once it doesn't have the resources. But uh, yeah. And then do I have other stuff? 14 space. Okay, that's not taking much space up. So we're just going to go around and literally gather more with that crazy amount of food plus me gathering more plant protein around here anyways. I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to collect those brains there. Okay. So we can cut down trees too. That's going to take a lot of wood though. Or sorry, a lot of space. But it, it's well worth it right now. There you go. So, oh, not as bad as I thought. I only got 10 out of that, so. Yeah, because uh, this can be used to get the plant fibers from. So you, 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 it'll auto-deconstruct the, the wood into planks, I think, and then fibers or something like that, so. 
And it's probably a good time to build multiple survival constructors too, just so you can have multiple things crafting. Especially if some stuff take a while to craft, so... Uh, yeah, let's do that. How much ore do I have? I'm gonna make two more then. That way we have three to start with. There we go. I feel like he would kick my ass. I want to try it, but I know this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Oh, it looks like he stops for a bit to do his thing, so it might be enough for me to stay away. Sorry, guy. This is great range. 15 meters. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, you got the Encyclopedia. So, Empiripedia, sorry, they call it. So, F1, that's how you bring it up. So, if you go to the Empiripedia, and then I don't even know where we find this journey book, Empiripedia. Was it under there? Tutorial, journey book. This is just history and stuff, part of the mission. Oh, he here you go. There you go. So, there you go. Try it. Yeah, there you go. So that's all the information. That's kind of cool. Two up. I don't know what the, the, the up means there, but I think that might be for single player. Um, I think they used to reward or they do reward you with a bunch of stuff for it, but we'll take that. I use shift F to auto loop, but look at that. Five meat. So that's uh, five stakes right there. So yeah, we have lots of space here still. So I'll do another cut here soon. But basically my goal is to gather, uh, I'm gonna grab the wood, set these up, and then we'll do a cut. And then basically I'm just gonna run back and forth and grab all the little rocks around and build our first uh, vehicle using the blueprint system. And then we're gonna have to wait because it will take some time to craft that. Um, there we go, our inventory is full already. Where is it? There it is. You can see the little mini map at the top, it actually shows you the thing. So can I kill one of these? Because I'd just like to have the, uh... wait, did I put that on the, Actually, I might have had that on the wrong, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that just, as a weapon, that took that tree down faster now I think about it. So these guys, they probably have too much health, but I'm gonna try, oh, he's level one. Okay, so I don't think these fight, so I'm gonna chase him down and see if I get like a, a thing. I just wanna see if I'll get a, a little lore on it too. There you go. Oh, you do, okay, cool. So, yeah, there you go. Right there. There's no picture for this guy, unfortunately. Somebody needs to put a picture there. That's cute. Okay, maybe I'll do that at some point. You know, just fill in the blanks and take some pictures and add it to the scenario. Um, okay, so let's go over here. Did that guy give me a lot of meat? But Oh, my goodness. He gave me... That baby gave me 10 meat for that. That's uh, a little redonkulous. I love him. Thank you. Okay, so that was actually worth probably sprinting to him. We didn't actually use that much food. So let's put this in here and uh, actually can I cook a steak on me? No. <laughs> I know that would be a little weird, but you never know. So we're going to go to food and there you go. Grilled steak. So that gives 52 food each one. So yeah, I think we can afford to sprint around and jump around like an idiot then. Um, so we have the rocks there. Look at all this 70, 70, 50. So we already have almost everything there. We just need more rocks and more of this stuff. So what we're going to do here is because we want to, we need to make something called carbon substrate. Yeah. 16 plant fibers, two stone dust. So that sucks because that's a lot of uh, carbon substrate. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, put 20. Oh, maybe this is not going to be an issue. Let's do, let's just do all the plant fibers first. And then we'll get whatever we can get out of that, I guess. And uh, th that's awesome, actually. I'll just get rid of this stuff. I don't really need it on me. You, you want to put them in a fridge? They're gonna they're gonna go bad, honestly. But uh, oh, I guess I don't need this on me either. There you go. We'll keep the flashlight on us. Okay. There you go. So we're just gonna go around and grab some more stuff here. Go. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. I think I'm going to sprint around and be an idiot more. I don't know. My food feels a bit better. We were Tony and I played a wee bit. Um, our base didn't have a happy ending. Uh, basically, there's this modular inventory system, which is amazing. And I gave uh, Togi uh, 
um, a salvage tool and basically he accidentally one shot it with the salvage tool and none of the items dropped I guess because it was so big and there's just too many items in it and we had pretty much mined out Haven <laughs> there was like maybe like six or seven nodes each and that's it plus we already left the planet a bit so um, the beauty beautiful part about this is now I have a bit of experience to show you stuff like hey I'm not an idiot but uh, at the same time we're kind of restarting but I like it I don't mind restarting from time to time wouldn't want to do it 10 minutes later but look at this rock this rock's going to probably give us too much resources we're only doing like I think it's like 12 damage at a time I think it was like 14 oh 12? I don't know. I think 12. But anyways, we're we're almost there. <laughs> we're like one third of the way. It's probably going to be too much uh, stone though. <laughs> I'm just kind of interesting. It's so big. I just I want to be the one to get it. There you go, and yeah, inventory full. There's 224 crushed. Oh, I was able to hold on to 166 of it. Wow, so there's 200 and whatever it said. Was it 24 or 244? But there was a lot of stone there. So we're just going to bounce back all the way over here. Let's just regenerate our food with this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and you're cooking oh yeah, you're cooking the steak. You're doing all this stuff, which is great. So you keep doing your your job over there. Oh, the plant fires. That's gonna take a while. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cancel this out and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the wood and just put it in this one and this is just be dedicated plant fibers right now. Okay. And that way it's making the carbon substrate stuff. Awesome. And then, uh, sure, I'll get you guys to make the other materials here in a minute. Cool. I don't think I have to worry now about uh, getting more of that. I think we're good. We just need other actual ores, I think, now. If we can get more. Like this. So I might actually... Well, no, because I'm too low level, actually. What level are we right now? It says right here, actually. Uh, stats. Level 4. Almost level 5. I think I might get the har one vehicle for me to harvest trees down a little easier. Oh, I don't want that rock. Okay, let me get a cut. I'm just going to go around and gather. Look at that. Level 5. Awesome. Okay, I'm heading back. Just finishing up more resources, and then we'll see what we get here soon. Oh, look at There's some tribes people here. Who's that right here? Oh, they're a new faction. Yeah, the Talon clan. So these guys are friendly. They won't hurt you unless obviously you attack them. But uh, uh, they're the ones that were in the green. So uh, I guess they maybe... I don't know if they, they're around the world randomly or if they patrol their own borders. But obviously, uh, yeah, they're around. So don't, don't, don't piss them off and hit them. <laughs> or you will be making enemies of somebody you probably want to make friendly. Because part of this game is there's going to be some crazy enemies that... Uh, are going to whip your ass, and you're going to definitely want some safe havens from time to time. Oh, there's some wood from before. Interesting. Okay, so let's go back here. Oh, there goes all my uh, stamina juice. Now, if I eat food here, because, you know, why not fill it up? It also gives you... All the foods have different effects, so that gave me a little bit more stamina, which is nice. I'm tempted to do this again, but I know I have, like... Defense mode, sorry. I'm getting used to the... I know I have, like, next to nothing here, but I kind of want to get... Oh, we'll try it. We'll see. I want to take another one of these guys out for fun. After the first... Uh, the, the one we killed gave us 10 meat in one shot. Eight meat. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was worth it. Uh, I can't have your milk. Ah! Sorry. Item not accepted. Where did I try to put the item? <laughs> Wrong hole. Uh, I love look at look at how beautiful that is. And there's an actual belt around the planet too. 
like if you go out in space it's, there's a physical belt there you can't mine it i don't think but it's there for looks okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna get rid of you guys in here for now and we're gonna go and cook you guys up here and then uh, eventually we'll cook the meat in there and then we'll keep the plant protein for ourselves Sounds good. And then let's put you in here and make more fiber for the future. And then we're going to go ahead and put you in here. And so we already have obviously some big beginner materials here. And then this had a wee bit already done. Okay, so our iron is getting pretty close. So we have some a few options, but the one I was looking at, so this one obviously we could do. Uh, carbon substrate 184 i don't know what this stuff is considered but obviously we should have enough in there um, i don't know if it's one to one or if it's less than that but uh you can use that as a base material oops there's logs there oh that's the console cool so errors and stuff i guess <laughs> um <laughs> unknown command okay um anyways there, there there's a site that gives you information single player i think you can like use like cheat commands and stuff too um but uh okay so let's look at the other blueprint here so i'm using f2 for blueprint or it's up there and let's look at the steam ones because i did get the steam ones here um workshop and i wanted to check yeah so this is the scarab so i was kind of thinking of this one and the reason for that is this guy has a lot of inventory space um, because he's meant for cutting down trees. Uh, if I make one of the simple ones like you saw, uh, yes, it might be a bit cheaper, but there's zero functionality to it besides getting around fast. This would be probably a little slower at getting around, but I don't really need to get around fast anyways. It's more about having storage. So if I have something like this and I run around and grab more ores or actually go to physical ore patches, I'd be able to do more with this, I think. So I think this would be the way to go. So let's let's try this out anyway. So... Uh, let's get the substrate out of here. I don't know if this is going to work out to be enough. Yes, it is. So it is a one-to-one. -one. So there you go. All the substrates are done. Um, so that is uh, that is beyond beautiful. So all the iron is done, I think, too. So there you go. All the iron is done. And then copper we need a bit more of, obviously, and silicon. So there we have it. And that's starting to process some of that now. So um, that is beautiful. That is really beautiful. So And look at all the silicon we have there, too. So, and look at this. So it gets really dark to the point where it's blinding. But then once the uh, moon starts rising, it actually gets brighter again. So it's not bright as daytime, obviously, but it's enough to give you some nice light. And I think depending on the biome and area you are in, you probably have different light levels as well. So in a darker biome, like a forest, it's probably darker. In a, a place like a desert, it probably has a bit more moonlight effect from it. So... Um, we don't actually see the moon yet, but I think you will see it. I, I hope you do. It's almost like it's there, but I ain't seeing a moon right now. So hopefully we actually physically see a moon. Oh, there it is right there. I think that's it. Or that could be a tree. But it looks like a moon. I ain't moving. I think I'm wrong. Oh, there's a cloud there. So maybe it's affecting it. Who knows? Either way, we need uh, some more material. Silicon, but copper. Copper, okay, so it's kind of funny because copper it comes out as the brown ones. Um, iron is the this one. So I would say this makes sense for oxidized. So what color is oxidized iron? Like if it gets, you know, basically if it was on the surface. Red, right? Uh, so that rusty color. What color is copper on the outside? Like if it gets oxidized green but for some reason it's completely opposite so copper in this game is the red one and uh, which i mean that would be the co color of it anyways and the iron one is green which i actually don't know what raw iron that's not oxidized looks like i have a feeling like it wouldn't look that color but maybe i'm wrong i, I really don't know but i would have i would have honestly just swapped them and then most people probably wouldn't even noticed Yeah, so I'm not sure why there is no... Yeah, so it, there's obviously a moon effect there, but I, there's no moon in the sky, so I'm like... Oh, no, there it is! Oh, I'm an idiot! There you go, Haven Moon. Oh, never mind, it's there, it's huge! It's just really slow. I thought it would move a bit faster, but no, this planet's so big, I guess day and night cycles are a lot longer. 
Okay. Well, I was just an idiot. It's been there the entire time, I guess. Cool. Okay. Let me... I'm going to gather more resources, throw them in there, and we'll be back here in a few. Okay, my friends. I think we're doing good here. So, uh, look at this. Iron, copper, silicon, more of that. There you go. So, we're going to have two here. So, we did already our iron. We needed just a bit more copper. Wow. <laughs> One over. And then silicon, we didn't need as much. I might as well hold on some materials because obviously I want to do whatever. It's going to take 10 minutes of production, unfortunately. Uh, which I'm not going to end the episode there because that'd just be jerkish. We're going to wait the 10 minutes. I don't mind waiting 10 minutes. Um, now, in 10 minutes, it might be daytime because that's not one. It's like you see four. Yeah, 40. 39. 38. Yeah, so it's like maybe two or three seconds, 2.5 seconds maybe. So it's going to take a while. Now, keep in mind, things are going to perish three minutes before that perishes. Um, I was wondering if this perishes because it's in a different inventory. No, it doesn't. Interesting. So you could buffer that as food, I guess. Interesting. But yeah, it doesn't matter because I, I don't mind collecting that because it could be used for other stuff anyways. So uh, that's all good. I'm making biofuel because we're going to need that. So yeah, basically we're going to wait. So I'm going to still collect things. I'm going to need some other stuff. I don't need wood because we're going to collect that in large amounts soon. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and collect stones and things like that. Oh, my inventory is full of stuff too. Oh, this is great actually because we've got lots of stuff in here now. Um, yeah, let's put you guys in here. You here. Um, can we make a radar? I don't even know if the ship we were making has a radar thing on it. We should probably unlock it just in case if it doesn't. So if we go to F3, um, we're going to go to hover vehicle and we're going to look for a radar thing here. Oh, here it is. Spotlight and then detector it's called. Because this will be great for looking around and detecting things. Now, I don't know the speed on this thing. I don't know if it can even go at max speed empty. Because it's meant for chopping down trees and stuff. So it might be a bit slow. But uh, I'm hoping it'll be okay. And if not, it's not a big deal. I mean, it is, it's got a purpose and we're, we're kind of using it for something else. But uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun to be fair. Um, so yeah, let's leave that going. And uh, we'll be back here soon. So I thought this was really cool. So you got like a Mars looking planet here and that's actually 7.5 AU away. So it's not even close to us. Um, unfortunately, it would never look that close, but they, they, they enlarge some stuff close by. It just makes it more fun, honestly. Um, but you got two different moons. You got Haven Moon 1, but there's also Haven Moon. You got that guy. And if you hit the map here, you can actually go to the solar system. So this solar system is actually kind of ridiculous. It has a lot of stuff going on here. So there's a lot more up there. I don't know if you can see the other ones. Probably. For some reason, I think you're able to see other ones, but I'm not sure. Uh, not sure how that works. So they don't like just be dots in the night sky. I'm not, I'm not sure how all that works. But um, anyway, so that's your solar system, but you have the galaxy map. So we're in this little spot here. And if you turn on territories, we're in this evil territory right now, which I guess we don't have a list for it because we don't know them yet. Um, but oops, did I just close that out? Weird. Um, but yeah, you can just go. How do we do this? Control shift. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, this is the galaxy for you and you can move around. The, yeah, there you go. How ridiculous is that? All those little tiny fine dots. Those are all systems you can visit. Isn't that crazy? So this is like No Man's Skies, you know, style uh, setup here, which is really cool. These guys have a really dense star system over here, apparently. And yeah, as far as I know, each one of these is a star. So this is like... When you go at this, this is not just one, like, that's not a planet or anything. That's, like, one single star here, you know? Um, can I click on I guess it's based on where your thing is, so you can't... Yeah, I zoomed out too much, I guess, so there you go. So if we go here, you can click this one, and can we go to an info panel? Yeah, there you go, so you can see this. So you can see a cold system here, you know, things like that, and it tells you, you know, surface temperatures and other information. Uh, to get more information, you'll have to go there, obviously, but it tells you the different star types and here's an m star here cold system but it's just beyond amazing really amazing honestly so we have 53 seconds left i guess we can uh, wait for that let's head back here but uh yeah 
Beautiful game, anyways. I love it. They've really done an amazing job. It's just like, you know, this looks like a really, like, the graphics in the sky is just, uh, it is breathtaking. It's breathtaking. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's see what we got here. Awesome and awesome. We'll throw you guys in here, too. Get some other stuff here. Now, if you put a stone in there, it will actually try to create it from ores. Ores can be created from this stuff. So if you look here, one, uh, you can get, how much? Is it just one? Yeah, it's a little expensive, I guess. So 25 stone dust for one. Okay, yeah, so for one iron. Stone dust is 10 per stone, I guess. So that's not too bad. So for each ore, you need 2.5 stone, if I'm looking at that right. But it's you want your stone for other stuff anyways. So, But I guess if you're desperate enough, it's there. Okay, so let's go ahead and spawn this. We're going to have two. And we're going to click spawn. And here's our hover vehicle. So, oh, it has a radar dish on it. Sweet. So it has what I need. Okay. And then we're going to need fuel for this puppy. So we're going to go ahead and let's just do 10. Because I want to save some of it for the future for other things, obviously. And uh, you can just hit P on it while looking at it. And we can just say fill. Will it take that? Or I don't know if it knows how to do. Oh, I think it must have because it, it just landed. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. If you manage, is it? Is that open it up? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. So that's not going to give it a lot, but obviously it'll give it some. There you go. So there's two tanks, I guess, in total. So 17. That, that should be good for a while. And there we go. So we have ourselves our uh, first little uh, vehicle here. And this, this actually does move really good. I don't know what the max speed is on here, but oh, yeah. Look at that. That actually moves a lot faster than I expected. And it can go in water, by the way. So this is this is awesome. And then we can scan, right? So that's the beauty of this. You can go ahead and just use the scanner for things nearby. So obviously we want a place where there's nothing. Oh yeah, look at all the uh, stuff here to scan. So these are the, the locals I was telling you about. There's no light on this, unfortunately, but that's all right. Uh, so if we go over here... If we get closer to these guys, we can scan their, uh, their their stuff here. You get lots of EXP when scanning here. But keep in mind, we're on the lower setting here, so we get a lot less EXP than we normally get. But watch this. We're going to get close and then just jam it up. There you go. Right now. There you go. 2754. It's a lot of EXP here. A good way to get some basic EXP. I'll even close to another level up actually here yeah look at that almost level seven so honestly what i'm gonna do from now to the next episode is basically work on uh getting the materials like leveling up is gonna be easy i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna level up like crazy here so we're gonna go back because it's better to be back at our base ish wow look at all the deposits over there oh that's that area okay that's the starting area oh yeah there you go there's the the vehicles i was telling you about that you can find there so not that I wanted them, but that's where you find them. We made our own vehicle from literally the surface, you know, rocks. You gotta be proud of that. Okay, so it's dark time. Okay, let's see if we can get a light on this thing. So we're gonna go over here to the left. I don't know how well a light will work on here, but I feel like we definitely need a light on here. There it is. It's the dusk, like just after dusk and just before dawn is going to make this thing pretty messy at night. So. so let's get a light on this thing, please. So we have you and then get me one light, please. It's the spotlight. I guess that's good enough. Yeah. So where would I even put a spotlight? Uh, I guess you could put them on the sides if you really wanted to. Obviously, you wouldn't want to screw up your front, but. It's not really meant to have that. Unless that's storage. Oh, that could be storage. Let's see here. Salvage mode. No, I think it's just... Yeah, okay. Let's do two of them then. It looks like it's just whatever, so... Um, I wish these would go back to where they were. It's like, I wasn't there. Why are you there? So let's see here. We're going to modify these, my friends. There you go. And then we'll get another one on the other side. So there'll just be like two big bright headlights on there. Oh, no. I didn't want two of them. Wait, what the heck? There you go. 
unfortunately now <laughs> the daytime's coming so it's kind of useless like thanks a lot but it's still gonna be useful from time to time there you go okay and then lights what's oh, already on okay that's not as bright as I thought. Oh, no, that's actually not bright. A pad. Uh, let's see how brighter you can get. Some things can be brightened up a bit more. These don't have a config, but... No, that would work. You can obviously see everything, really. Oh, yeah, this works much, much better. So, sets in the west, rise in the east. Okay, let's get rid of the dawn here. The light we've just gotten recently. Let's go to the dark area over here for fun. Yeah, there you go. So we turn off the lights. There you go. You're back in the darkness, and yeah. Not bad. When you get height, though, you can't see. Oh, that's water. That's why. Okay, so let me show you how this works. This will cut down trees, and this will give you... Look at all the XP you're going to get, too. But what's cool is you can see on the top there, just above the hotbar... 6.3 so we've used 6.3 the percent of the storage and we've used probably like you know that's already probably an inventory worth of stuff already so if we hit p again here we go to harvester this harvester holds 6500 items so it literally holds 13 of my inventories in one <laughs> we're already over 130 inventory space on there so that's the amazing thing and you can put other things in here including rocks and stuff and uh, I don't know if it has a wireless on here, because that would make this even more godland, to be fair. Yes, it has a wireless connection. So what you could do with this now is uh, you can get out of here, right? But what you can do is go and open this uh, harvester and link to this. And basically, you can hit T to bring back your normal hotbar. But when you're looting stuff, it'll automatically, uh, it should go automatically to the harvester, I think. Maybe because that's not the same kind, it might not be working. Oh, no, it was going there. There you go. Yeah. So uh, it's a good way. And you can go 50 meters away with that. So this is good now to take around and search for ores. Like, the you know, even just surface ores, to be honest. Grab what you need on the surface and just jump back in here every so often. And that way you don't have to spend all your time uh, hunting around. So um, anyways, I think that's it for this episode, my friends. Uh, so next time I'm going to I'm going to work on it off camera, obviously. But I'm going to be working on 310, 297, 202, 678. So pretty much a little bit more extensive than what we just made, obviously. But not so bad. And level 7, which we'll get instantly. That'll be easy. We're so close to it anyways. We're, yeah, look at that, 84% of the way. And then we'll be able to fly and mine actual nodes on the ground. Ooh, hello. Attention, we have spotted you. Can I kill him with this? Let's try. I can't see, though. I can't tell. Make gross noises. Maybe he's already dead, or... Oh, no, he's still alive. Oh, yeah, you did. We did kill him. Oh, cool. There's a new creature found. Okay, so... Uh, oh, I don't have... How do I get up there? Oh, there's a thing at the back. Awesome. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.